Hello world. In this episode we will review Longhorn Build 4008. The first problem is a time bomb. You must change the EMS BIOS to get access to Windows Longhorn. For VirtualBox I showed how to solve this problem. There is various Longhorn builds, but I am installing early 2003 build 4008. There is a Forgot to mention, you need to start from some operating system to even display data. So the Longhorn's computer will think today is 2003, not far ahead from this year. I'm gonna install a MS-DOS for it, because it's faster to set this up than any Windows NT versions. Let's get through his. Alright, Longhorn. Product key exist in the collection book. Surprisingly, there is XP pre-release non-disclosure agreement that isn't updated at all. Oh yay, of course. Longhorn crashes. Due to my stupidity, I have to speed up this fragment. My MS DOS sees only up to 2 GB. This build need 3 of it. Next step takes a few minutes to complete. System gives me several seconds to restart. Ignore. Windows Longhorn are loading things up without giving any details of it. Wow, such simplified install is needed in Windows 10. Let me tell you about Longhorn more. Longhorn was planned to be a minor update for Windows XP and a Windows XP successor should be Blackham. 
Longhorn should be released in 2003, but it didn't. Addition of more features, switching planes, themes, and reset of development caused to such a late release. It is released under a name Vista. Windows Vista released in 2006. Windows 7 is on 2009. Deleted features is released on Windows 8 and later. Microsoft introduces Plex theme in Longhorn Builds 36834039, which counts today's video in. And you should actually like development of Vista. I see, it is buggy. But we are still moving on. This build is a milestone for build, out out beta wiki consider first M4 build as a 4001. So, um. You can skip ahead to 751. It was been a long ride from three different themes and many different styles to an glossy looking product. Ride a longhorn, hehe. <laughs> this name is taken from summer 2005. few questions? Just write something, it doesn't ask for password. The only lie that's spoken from Microsoft, that is actually good. A date and time is shown in startup screen. It has been unused until 2010s. A whole screen is recolored, comparing the XP's one. Clock moves, surprisingly. But unsurprisingly, this build is slow. Just in case, this VM have 512 megabytes RAM. This wizard will annoy me. Start menu will always be open after boot up. Never seen that before. Cyber contains gadgets that did just faded in. It is a Vista's feature. Added a feature to watch kitty pics. And even more random picks. The start menu is barely changed. It's just got blue, just like everything else. My computer folder is redesigned, I thought it almost are same, as Windows XP.
virtual machine don't support sounds. I messed up with slideshow. Let's see what Windows desktop gadgets have. You can thank it to remind what did I named my the M2. This feature is a little bit useful. Apparently you need to be worker in Microsoft for Windows activation, not just paste a product key. Here is a yip generator. I have no video to start from. And thanks by the M don't seeing sound driver W M M closes by itself. They keeping Windows XP tour. Apparently they don't have time to delete that, or they don't wanna. Neat design, for 2003. Oh wait there is more. A new unique taskbar design with an plot that you never will see at RTM version of Windows. A search. Pretty nice. Correct this. 1. Evaluation copy is about to expire in 360 plus days, not 180. 2. It's Longhorn, not Whistler. Once again, they are busy to build up a polygon of tests so much, they forgot an obvious thing to inform their employees. It is fine, if upgraded that is in a paper. No idea what am I doing right now. I don't think I'm interested of this application.
I need 14 days to activate Vista's build. Perfection. Help and Support Center still talking about Windows XP despite being slightly redesigned. We have some spicy themes. Unredesigned Luna theme, not sure why Redmond decided to keep it. And a broken classic theme, which only window work properly, and maybe old task bar. And even Longhorn screensaver. I have no idea why I got in here. Don't mind me. Oh my god. Rover on a siege tab. We liked that dog back in 2017 when we used old computer. So much memories. Wait a minute, an icon view bar? Oh, look at that. An icon view bar -y just like on Vista. This is a useful feature. Wait, what? It links me into Internet Explorer. Gotta go fast. Okay, let's end this video. Bye.